Hi everyone, today I have another intro to a project pan for you and um, this is actually the um, Seven Summer Flings project pan that was started by Stephanie from the Daisy Girly and I absolutely loved her idea but I wanted to wait a bit until I was closer to being done with my three current um, timed project pans, so the ones that have a actual definite end date. And um, within the upcoming month, all three of my current project pans will actually be done, whether I have finished all the products or not. So I ended up um, deciding to start this now because I have already made up my mind as to what products I want to use. And in some cases, um, the products I have in the Seven Summer Flings project pan may overlap with um, similar products I have at other project pans. So, I, um, I'm going to give myself a bit of an extra time uh, for this project pan. So the idea behind it is to pick seven products and use them up by the end of summer. This uh, project pan will actually end on the uh, 21st of September this year. So I have roughly three and a half months, maybe a bit more, um, left to work on all of these seven products. I only chose seven products because as I did with my uh, finish four by the 4th of July, I will add products in as I use up other products or hit my goals for other products. And um, we're just going to um, quickly go into what I have here and what I want to actually achieve. I think I'm going to go with the products where I have more easy goals in, in a way. So, um, and then I'll work my way up. So, first stars, I have my OPI nail polish in Brisbane Bronze. This is this beautiful bronzy color right here. And I love the shade, but OPI is not cruelty free, so I want to use this one up. And um, I know I can't use up a full nail polish within three and a half months. Heck, I can barely use up um, a, a third of this within four months. So let's not even think about using a full one up within three and a half months. But I want to make visible progress on this one so that I can then maybe use up the rest of it by the end of the year. So I'm going to put this one in right now. At the moment I don't have any nail polish on. I had to take it off um, earlier um, yesterday actually because it started to chip and I have to reapply this. So I will reapply this later today. But I'm going to put this one in at the moment, I am all the way up here, and you probably can't even see my line that I made, but this is almost full. I have used this twice at the very best. So there's a lot I still need to work on, and I just want to make visible progress. I want to be able to see that I have used quite some of this nail polish. Then I decided to pick um, three items that I want to just hit pan on, kind of. For stars, I have a blush right here, and this is my M&Y blush in the shade 101. As you can see, this is a very light pinky shade. Let me just give you a quick swatch. Here we go. This is very close to my own skin color. And I have to really build this up if I want color to show up. So there we go. Here you can see a light swatch of this. It is a very nice color. But um, it is not cruelty free, M Y belongs to Maybelline. And I just want to hit pan on this one for the upcoming three and a half months. The more pan, the better, of course. But at the moment, I am also trying to use up my MAC blush, so um, I want to hit pan on this one only for the time being. Then I decided to go with a eyeshadow, and I chose my Burberry Wet and Dry Silk Eyeshadow in the shade Pale Barley, and this is the sponge applicator that just fell out. So here we go. This is a very light neutrally color. Well, so this is the shade right here and this is the swatch. So I think this will be nice for summer because this is a very, um, very light color. So it would not be too dark of an eyeshadow even in summer. I could just use this all over my lid and um, be done with it if I'm in a, in a hurry. But um, I think this is also quite a nice shade and I just want to make some dent um, in here. I have seen um, MAC from MAC's Makeup 8 try to 
work on hers to hit pan and it took her ages so I want to hit pan on this one only. I just want to be able to say I've hit pan on my most expensive eyeshadow ever. The next one that I want to actually just hit pan on is my MAC Fluid Line in the shade Rich Ground. And this here is it. So this is a bronzy brown shade and as you can see over here I have made quite some progress already but I am at about the halfway point at the moment so I need to work on this quite a bit more for me to hit pan and um, this is what I want to do in the upcoming three and a half months. Just want to be able to see the glass bottom of this and um, hopefully I can maybe do a bit more but um, we're gonna stick with that for the time being. And then I have um, two products that I actually want to, um, no wait, three products that I want to use up. For starters, I have my Victoria's Secret Secret Charm Scented Body Mist and this green line here that barely shows up is where I'm at right now, but you can see the product shake around. Anyway, so this is where I'm at right now and I hope to be able to use this one up completely in the upcoming three and a half months. This is actually the last scented body spray perfume type product that I have that is not cruelty free. So me using this one up will be yet another very big success for me. Then I want to finally use up my Florina hand lotion with a cherry blossom scent. This black line right here is where I'm at still. This was where I was at like two months ago already. I've barely used this so the line has not changed at all. And I really need to use this one up because it is starting to annoy me that I can't make any progress. So I want to just use this one up in the upcoming three and a half months. I have so many hand lotions left, I just need to get to work on one of them. And the last product I have in here for starters is my NYX Girls Gloss in the shade Peach. This is what I have on my lips right now and I'm going to quickly give you a little bit of a swatch so you can see the color. This is a very pink peach color but I like this a lot and I have used this on and off in the past few months so I am approximately at this line right here I tried to put this in my tea again but my tea was a bit cold so I could not get all the product to settle down so we're gonna see how far down I really am but I want to use this one up completely and um, for reference this actually contains let me see. Um, this contains 0 0.085 ounces or 2.5 milliliters. So there's quite a bit in here. I'm not the best at using up uh, lip glosses in case you haven't noticed that yet. But I want to use this one up because I've had this for so long. So um, I'm very happy that um, Stephanie or the Daisy Girlie actually started this project pan because it for me is a good way to just get to work on a few more products and um, she started this almost a month ago, so I'm fairly certain that she will soon give us her first update and I cannot wait to see it. For me, I will probably do my updates around the middle of the month, so um, my next update should be, I would guesstimate around um, July, is it June? Yes, June, July 10th or so, just to give you a um, good idea of what I can do within a month. And um, we'll see how I can go on from there. If I make progress or if I um, hit my goal um, before um, the time is up, I will either, like I said, um, substitute another product in to try and hit the goal on this one, or I will just continue working on the product. For example, the um, blush and the eyeshadow that I have in here, I will probably just continue using them and see how much I can actually get used, um, can, can actually um, use up. So. Yeah, this was it for my intro for the um, Seven Summer Flings project pan. I'm very glad that Stephanie came up with this wonderful idea. I love the name. So um, I just can't wait to do this. And I will leave you with that for now. I hope you will have a wonderful day and I will see you guys soon. Bye!